my colleague and chief rival at Legendary Tactics has listed his top 10 Avalon Hill games. You may have watched his video. Respectfully, I am going to offer a completely different list of my own, because, much as I respect him, I would like to present you with a counterpoint to his thoughts. Join me on Legendary Tactics. What I admire most about Avalon Hill is the sheer depth and breadth of the gaming library that they have produced. There was no walk of life that Avalon Hill didn't cover on the tabletop. Along with unparalleled game genres, Avalon Hill was consistently looking to lead board games by way of innovation and game mechanics. Admittedly, I'm still scratching the surface on what is a very deep well of Avalon Hill games, but I've come up with my top five. So let's get right to it. Coming in at number five, Hannibal, Rome vs. Carthage. There were many elements that caught my attention with this game. I love the card-driven mechanics, the asymmetrical feel, I love the board. I'm also fascinated with the historical time period and the historical accuracy that the game offers. I think some of the best board games in the historical genre make the players consider the what-if questions regarding historical results. Hannibal does all these things exceptionally well. If these appeal to you, then Hannibal might be one for you to consider picking up. At number four, we turn our attention to a completely different genre of game with Status Pro Baseball. You could argue that that Status Pro Baseball was the best sports game ever produced. There is a quiet tension in this game, and once the top of the first leads off, you'll have a difficult time walking away from the table. The stats you can keep on your team is at a level that would make fantasy sports fanatics approve. I love the fact that they updated the game to include current baseball rosters, and you can still do so to this day. Status Pro Baseball is one if you enjoy baseball, you want to have a look at. Coming in at number three, I have Diplomacy. This is a secrecy and backstabbing game filled with a lot of quiet tension. Diplomacy has a lot of subtle nuance to it, knowing which way you can best make alliances and keep alliances, and when necessary, break alliances. The game mechanic is straightforward and quite simple, but yet, I love the secrecy element to this game. I love the backdoor dealings, and that is really where this game comes to life. Check out Diplomacy if you've got a group of people that would enjoy the same thing. Coming in at number two, we have Ambush. Although on the box, the publisher is listed as Victory Games. Victory Games was a subsidiary company of Avalon Hill, so I have decided to include it in my list today. I am a huge fan of narrative storytelling in board games. Ambush might be one of the greatest storytelling games out there. It is a truly choose your own adventure game with its extremely innovative and clever paragraph storytelling mechanic. Ambush was really a groundbreaking game. In this solo game, you are trying to beat the game system by exploring and unveiling squares on the map and completing mission objectives. One of the things I found enticing about Ambush is the connection you start to create between yourself and the characters that you've created. I actually found myself rooting for characters to do well and felt a little sad when any of my characters would be killed off. Ambush is definitely the type of game that if you end up losing, you want to go back and replay the mission in order to find success the next time around. Before we move on, we'd love it if you could take a moment to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for your support. And coming in at number one, we have Acquire. There is no game on this list that comes with more nostalgia for me than Acquire. This one is one of those family favorites that every games night started with. I love the fact of the tension that builds as you place tiles, merge companies, grow your own company, and work your way to victory. This has been one of our gaming group's favorites for many, many years now. Before wrapping up this video, there are definitely some honorable mentions I wanted to give. These are games that I felt didn't quite have a strong enough connection to Avalon Hill so that I could put them on my list. Two that I did want to mention were Axis and Allies and Cosmic Encounter. These are another two great games that I have played for many years and had many, many hours of enjoyment with. And so if you get a chance, don't forget to check those out too. Being newly introduced to Avalon Hill via our resident expert NATO, I am really excited to visit, explore, and beat him at much of the older catalog, including Squad Leader, 
Advanced Squad Leader, Africa Corps, Wooden Ships and Iron Men, and The Legend of Robin Hood. What game did you first encounter of Avalon Hill? Or which one was first to capture you at the table? Let us know in the comments below. The metamorphosis of Avalon Hill over the years is an absolutely amazing story. Our resident expert and legendary tactician NATO is covering it in great depth. I'll leave links below for more of our Avalon Hill material. And as always, thanks for watching.